Hey guys, it's Dave here from Epoxy Emporium. Today we're going to be discussing one of the most important things when it comes to working with resin, your temperature. Now aside from your weighing of your epoxy and measuring of your ratios, temperature is one of the most important aspects when it comes to working with resin. Your ideal temperature for working with epoxy is 25 degrees. If you increase the temperature from 25 degrees, the higher you go, the faster your reaction is going to take place. That being said, the same thing happens when you decrease the temperature. The lower your temperature goes, the slower the reaction. Epoxy feeds off the heat. The more heat you add, the faster the cure. The less heat you add, the slower the cure. That being said, if you do not have enough heat, your epoxy will not cure correctly. We'll actually have a process of linking, which is how the epoxy goes hard that will not take place if the temperature is not hot enough. Now to get your room or your workspace up to 25 degrees for your DIYers, you can add a heater into the room, get the ambient temperature as close to 25 degrees as possible. Your ideal range is between 22 and 27 degrees. If your temperature drops below 13 degrees or below 10 degrees, you might have a crystallization that happens with your resin. Now we get this call a lot, people phone us and they say that the resin has gone hard. The problem with that is the crystallization has taken place due to the cold temperatures. A lot of the time it's because the epoxy has been stored on the floor, which we do not recommend. But what you can do to curb that is actually heat the resin up. I've heated my kettle up here. I've let it cool down so it's not boiling anymore. But I'm going to add it into this container. And then I'm simply going to add the bottle of my resin that is crystallized and I'm going to leave it in the hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can continue to mon monitor the bottle, checking how the crystallization is. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes should be more than ample. Once it, the crystallization is gone from the heat, you can actually take the bottle and shake it. Allow this to cool for about 10 minutes and then you're ready to pour. The main reason we want to let it cool down is because if you take the resin as it is right now, the heat from the water has heated up the epoxy to way more than 30 degrees. If you put this into a system and pour it into your project, it's going to flash cure because of the excess heat. For the guys that have a bit more experience with working with epoxy resin, you will actually be able to see how you can manipulate the resin. If you increase the temperature, it'll increase the cure time. If you decrease the temperature, it'll slow down the cure time. The main reason that I like to manipulate the resin is if there's a very in-depth uh, like in piece, a lot of details, I actually like to slow down the curing speed to let all the bubbles release. Uh, if I'm doing something like a crack or a void fill, then I like to increase the temperature to speed it up. Personally, in my workshop, I like to use an infrared light. Make sure it's an infrared light and not a UV light. Uh, the infrared lights are lighter on energy consumption. They're cheaper. You can go and buy them from Builders Warehouse or Leroy Merlin. But it is an essential item for winter pouring. Guys, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun.